everybody. Horrible, cold, windy, wet day this morning on Monday. Um, yeah, I've been quite busy over the last couple of days. These are shutters here that I've been making for the windows. Um, there's four pieces to each one and they're going to fold back on each other. Um, this is the last one. I've just got to knock it apart and glue it together. Um, over here on the bench, these were already glued up. I found it best to glue them all up in position. And then once they're all dry tomorrow, I'll clean them all up. And then I've still got the top, top part of the frame to go on here, which I'm just about, after I've glued these up, I'm going to router them out. But then I can then offer it up and mark off with a pencil the top of the doors. And then I'll cut that off on the bandsaw. And then I'll be able to fit the hinges on them and get them all working. So that's one there. And there's another one up there all glued up in cramps. So I'm going to get on with the other one now. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you that little detail. Um, here's the roof window. That's all finished varnishing now, or oiling, should I say. Um, and there's the sashes for it. So tomorrow, or later on today, I'll probably hang the sashes back on and then work the handle out and get them fitted. Because um, tomorrow, Tuesday, the glass, I'll be picking the glass up and getting glazed but anyway i'll leave it there for now catch you all later yeah hello there again um just thought i'd do another little clip here because i'm coming to the last i've got the last bit of curved work to do which uh, is for the, the top arches on the inner liners of the arch top windows so i've just made it yet another template this one here which is going to be the arch top which what I do is I'll screw that onto the piece of oak and then it goes through this vicious looking router. So there's that one to do and there's two more because there's three windows. But yeah, and that's really going to bring me to the end of the curved work. But just a little summary, just to do the arch windows, one template, two, three, four templates just to do the various different arches. And the thing is, if you don't get the template right, however good the template is, it depends on how good the piece of timber comes out that you're altering. So you really need to be very, and I make these templates out of marine plywood because it holds up a lot better. Um, so that's four for the arch tops. And then these ones here, these were all the, there's what, one, two, three, all these were what I use for the portholes. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably tidy them all up and wrap them up and put them away just in case. You never know, I want to make some more port holes. But um, I probably won't because uh, I like doing one-offs really. I don't want to keep doing repetitive stuff. It's like people, when I built the wagon, they said, oh, you can start making shit. But well, yeah, I could have done, but why do I want to keep doing the same thing all the time? I like to have a bit of a challenge and variations. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to route this um while you're well not while you're watching but on look it's so noisy but i'm going to put it on the time lapse and i'll just do it on time lapse and tack it into the video and then really i'm going to wrap it up then for this morning because i need to get over and see my daughter because i want to get the next 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 um video out which is getting a little bit behind but i haven't had a chance to meet up with my daughter so we're gonna have lunch today and um she'll whatever it is, Bluetooth it across to her phone and then she'll edit it all up. And Well, no, she don't edit it, she'll just join it together because I don't like taking stuff out. Um, I like you to see it all, all the walks at all. But anyway, I'll leave it there. Good morning everybody, it's 7.30 Tuesday the 12th in the morning, I've just come into the workshop and those um, last couple of bits I was routing up for the top frames, we had a problem yesterday and a couple of big chunks split out when I was on the router because you've got this fierce bloody router bit here and it caught the oak and pulled it out 
um, my sort of the worst breakout I've had on the uh, doing all the rail trims. So I glued them up last night, so I can now hopefully just go out and finish them off like, and then I'll be putting them onto the frames. But I just thought I'd show you that not everything goes always to plan. But yeah, quite mad that on the last bit of uh, curved rail trim work we have a mishap. But there we go. Yeah, hi. Yeah, we've got one more to take out the cramps here because I've had them clamped up overnight where I've glued the the shutters together. Um, they're easy to glue them up in the frame. Got a bit of water dripping down today where it's the condensation or whatever it is is coming off the tent ceiling. So. But uh, yeah, here they are. This is the last one. I've done the others in what I've done. I've stuck parcel tape just inside so that the glue didn't stick to the frame. So this is the last one to do. Um, this one's done. I've sanded all the doors up. And then, as you can see, I've, I've trimmed the top rail, marked the doors off. So in a minute, I'm going to now... I've got to, cut this rebate out round this top just so it matches matches in with this rebate here and then I can glue the rest of these frames up together and then once I've got them glued I'll leave this because then I'm going to get over onto the the roof window here which I'm just now fitting the catches into and then I'll probably pop up the glass place and get the sealed units and then I'll do some glazing later on Anyway, I'll leave it there. Hello there. Um, just thought I'd share this with you. I started just routing out the groove for the uh, the top arch, the last piece of the frame. And after I'd started, I realised I'd done it on the wrong edge. I did it on the inside edge, which is no good. So I basically mucked it up. But I'm not going to start making some more pieces. So what I've done, I've got to do a little, basically cut these thin strips like that glue it in to the rebate that i've cut that's wrong let the glue set then i'll machine it out here's one that i've got in the cramps already so yeah it's a bit of a blow set me back a bit but in this game you've just got to know how to get over stuff like because if you can't get over things you're always going to have problems so you've got to think on your feet at times so Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you because we all make mistakes. So I thought I'd share with one of my mistakes with you all. Yeah, hi, I've just been and picked the glass up. So I'm just now popping that the arch tops into their frames. I'm actually coming to the kitchen here because uh, it's all a bit dusty out in the workshop. So I'm just setting these in. And what you have to do is, is you put this uh, tape all around on the rebate on the inside. And this is called Buckley tape. And it's... It's a very rubbery, f flexible, sticky, mastic tape. And basically, that goes all the way around. So I'm just pulling the tapes off now. Oh, that one's come apart. But anyway, you get the drift. But uh, once that's all off, like so, I can then carefully position the glass. Bit awkward because fiddly because you've got to set it down, and uh, once it gets on these tapes, it does sort of stick like to a blanket. So, anyway, I'm not going to show you doing that because uh, I haven't got the camera stand rigged up. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drop that one in, and you've got to place it so you've got an even gap all the way around, and then I get the gunning mastic out and gun that in. But I'll show you that. A bit later on. There we have one. I've just now sealed that all the way in around. So I'll probably leave these for 48 hours now before I actually hang them in the in the frames just to make sure. This Hello everybody. I'm just doing the um, handles now on the opening roof light, which I've got one side fitted already. Um, there they are, like so. Um, so yeah, that opens, locks down. There's also a little grub screw there, which you can tighten up, which will lock those in. I'm also in the centre here. I'm going to have a 
what they call a window jack, which basically you wind the handle, you wind the handle round, and that will basically open it up and down and keep it in a fixed position. But I won't worry about putting that on yet. I'm just getting these ones on. I've got the other sash to do now, which I'll just turn this around. I'll just put you down there a minute. Yeah, here we are again. Here's the sash like so. That opens up. I've also put a P-shaped draft excluder with draft weather strip around there, self-adhesive. Hopefully that's going to do the trick. I did have a similar strip on the wagon on the roof on that and that's not been any bother. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get the sash on the other side and then give this a little light rub down and give it one coat, one more coat of sealer, oil should I say, and then once that's gone off I can put the glass in here. Yeah, good morning everybody. Um, just a last little job on the frames here, I've just been drilling these holes here, two in each frame of the arch tops, and they go right through to that groove along the bottom which basically is a drain hole because where the window opens inwards any water that hits the window some will run down and go into the frame and then it will let itself out through the drain hole so I've just got one more to do and as I say these just like I put on the portholes these are the little plastic covers that will just snap snap into there so I thought I'd just show you that these frames now just can have one more coat of oil on the outside and then later on this week I can put the the, the openers in and basically finish the window off ready to go up to the boat I'll leave it there for now speak to you all later well hello there everybody um, what we are Wednesday about one o'clock just had a bit of lunch brought a cup of tea in with me um, yeah, it's all going good. i just like to say again, thank you for everybody who keeps putting comments. I'm sorry I haven't got back to you, but I am a bit lax on doing stuff like that. But I'll say it while I'm here now. Thank you for all the lovely comments, and I'm glad you're finding it all interesting. Um, you know, I've never done this before, but actually I'm feeling quite cool with it. You know, showing people into a little snapshot of my life and what I get up to. Um, but anyway... I thought I'd just do another little bit of, well I keep, do, keep saying that, we'll keep doing a little video, Ooh, something in my eye. Um, yeah, I've been on the, the liners, which is here. Now this is the last one, I've just got to run the route around just to take the edge off of there. Um, they're all nearly sanded up, so probably tonight I'll probably get a coat of varnish on them. So I'm going to do the route for in a minute, which I'll do with you watching. Um, so these are the door sets. This is the set for this, but I've got to make sure I don't get them muddled up because although they're the same, they're all slightly different. But yeah, these are the doors, which obviously are going to be going in, in here. Not like that though, because that's the wrong way around. But, uh, anyway, they're going to be going in here. Um, something like that. This afternoon I'm going to be finish cleaning up the shutters and start chopping the hinges in um, because they're going to have these nice little chrome hinges. I might be using chrome, chrome or combination of chrome and stainless steel fittings I'm using. But anyway, we'll just clamp this down and uh, I'll give you a quick demo of what we do with the router. I'm just going to clamp that on there. Uh, yeah, the router's out. The, I don't know how many times I've had the, either the router here or it goes in the bench. And every time it goes in the bench, I've got to take one of the handles off, take the base plate off, and remount it in there. But anyway, it's done its job. But yeah, I'll just go around the. Uh... Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty it that's just took just a little rounded the edge off slightly around there so, um, there we go there we have it like so anyway i'll leave it there I'll come back to you later on yeah hello there again i don't know if i but i got my head cut off but i've put the camera down though because i want to show you what i'm doing now you know i'm just um chopping out the hinges on the doors this is what we call a marking gauge it's got two prongs if you're marking out tenons and mortises and then one gauge for all sorts of other markings i'm marking out when i scratch that down there like that that basically gives me the line that i'm chopping the hinges out to so uh, that's what that little trick's about um yeah, I'm getting on all right, reasonably all right here. Yeah. Um, just had to go up to the shop because I'm a bit of a sweet craving and there was nothing sweet in the house. We needed some milk, so I thought I'd go up the road and get some milk and get a mince pie like because I'm quite partial to a mince pie, especially um, a co op short crust pastry mince pies. They're rather yummy. So I'll get down the road and that. Then as I'm parking up, I realise. I've got no wallet in my pocket, no change in my pocket. But anyway, I had a look in the little centre compartment in the van and I managed to rake up about £2.90. So I thought, oh, well, at least I can get something. So I managed to get a milk and one pack of mince pies. So anyway, back to the doors. That's one set of doors now that I've got hinged up. So basically, just to quickly show you, you can see, that'll go on that side there like that. And then when it hinges out, it will fold back round to that side. That's, I'll put that down there. Um, as I say, I've probably found I've had my head cut right off. But anyway, so yeah, the little trick is is that uh, this is marked out now. So I'm going to clamp that on there with a clamp. Um, yeah, chopping out hinges and that is rather time consuming, but uh, of course the smaller ones aren't necessarily easier than the bigger ones because they're a bit more bloody fiddly. But, um, here we go. So I'll leave that clamped on there and I'll just chop one inch out for you while we're here live. As I say, I've done a few of these over the years um, as I say I ain't really got enough room in as you can see I always tend to work I don't clear I do sort of clear up but uh, once I get these shutters finished and that I will have a big almighty clear up in here like you know um, but yeah I've always had the feeling that you get some of a tidy workshop they don't actually produce much work they just have a tidy workshop they don't want to muck it up as I do make mess everywhere I go like you know but uh, I do like producing the goods as they say the thing is with shop ninjas you gotta just try not take it easy you can always take a little bit more off but you can't put a bit more back on as they say moment then concentration um, yeah these are the hinges see they are all quite rather small but they're chrome on brass I'm gonna to have to get some different screws because the screws that they sent with them they're a little bit monkey metalish as I call it you don't drill a good pilot are oh, they snap off so I'll have to go out the road while I'm going out to Marcus somebody's coming to pick the wagon up tomorrow they were supposed to come today and I was supposed to go over there but they didn't but they assure me there's a truck arriving tomorrow to pick it up so I better go over there and make sure that uh, I'm happy how they load it for the lady who's bought it like you know so then that's that's the wagon gone and it's all then about the narrowboat but anyway there you go that one's done and what I do then is 
I drill a pilot hole because I say the, the going into oak and these little screws here they f I thought they were going to be all right but uh, they're a bit soft so if you're not careful I'm using them now because I've got to hang all these doors make sure they all fit put the catches on and everything make sure they fit and then I'll strip it all down ready for oiling up by stripping it all down, doing it that way around, although it's a lot of work involved, you get a much neater job because then you don't get all bloody oil all over the hinges and that. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there and we'll see you again later. Yeah, good morning everybody. Um, Friday morning. Uh, as you can see, I've got the roof window basically complete now. That's ready to take up to the boat on Tuesday. Um, and you've got the catches all on and the only thing there'll be an adjustable stay to go on there when I get nearer completing the boat just to hold the window open at uh, whatever height I desire it to be um, yeah the, I'm just putting together the arch windows now um, yeah there's the shutters from the inside of the arch top windows um, they've all got to come apart take all the hinges off so I can finish sanding them down and be polished but I just thought I'd give you a little preview of how they're going to sort of work they'll come back like so and open to the side um, and the same with that so they can then have a little clip to hold them back in place or if we've got the room, maybe we have them open like that because um, probably the future plan is eventually that in, in each of the panels we'll have a painting done in there. So um, that puts a bit of colour in. But yeah, I've got all the, the catches on the windows now. Uh, yeah, I'll just try and give you a little quick demo here. Um, so yeah, that opens up and then I've got the roller stays on the sides which I've had to buy in they come in a lot longer than that but I've took them apart took the pins out here and then cut the arm back and re-drilled it I've got a little bit of chrome missing there but really you don't really notice that but it's it's done the job and then we've got three hinges along the bottom so so yeah that's the window arch top windows which I'm really pleased with so anyway I'm going to crack on because I've still got quite a few bits to prepare ready for the trip up on Tuesday to the boat. See you all later. Yeah, hello again. Um, special moment. Uh, this is the last piece to go on the window. This last stay this side. And um, windows are all complete. Everything's done. We've come to the end of the window saga. Um, it has been quite a long trip with them, but uh, there's been a lot of work to do on them, but the nice thing is, is uh, I've got to the end, all by fitting them like, you know, but uh, yeah, when you get started, you just sort of stay in the moment and focus on what you're doing, don't think about the end result, because otherwise uh, it all can become a bit overwhelming, just stay in the moment of the bit you're doing. You know, it's like now, once I've done this, this last screw, that's these windows all ready to go. But then I've got to have a flipping great clear up. Got to clear me van out. Um, clear all the workshop up, clear all the rubbish up. And have a good tidy up. Ready for the trip up on Tuesday and put the windows in. But... Uh, once again, there you have it, there's the stays, catches, and they open like so, a good bit of ventilation. If you want to open them right up to clean them, we can just hopefully just flip that back and that'll um, let the window drop down. But there we go, I'll leave it there, see you all later. Yeah, good evening everybody, it's Saturday evening. Um, little update as you can see 
these are all the shutter doors here they've all been um, finished sanding and uh, they've all had a coat of oil and then underneath I've got the frames there and they're laid on some big planks which is the next lot of oak that I've got here ready for when I make the doors up for the way for not the wagon for the narrow boat but uh, yeah we're all uh, everything's going well but I've had nothing out so that's it I'll say goodnight. night.